Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Banished. We're running the Colonial Charter mod, The Forge Awakens, and I just noticed it's winter time, the trees are going away, and I can finally see my roads. So I want to add a one little touch up, I think, right? Both of them? Yeah, there to there. That cleans that up a little bit. And we'll clean all the stone and iron out of here, that tree out. Maybe, what? That's right, there's wooden. Are there still wooden roads? At one time I thought that there were wooden roads. Nope, I guess that was another one. What am I thinking of? I left wooden planks. Must have been a previous version of this, because I am not seeing it now. I know it's not in Vanilla Banish, so maybe it was in Colonial Charter 155? Huh. So I did build with them once. Okay, that must have been it. And... Looks like... Look at the pattern here. I know I'm just taking too much time on the little details, but that's kind of what Colonial Charter is all about. A lot more details. What kind of decoration pieces should go around this to make it look like a real welcoming area for the town? That's the sort of thing that's going through my mind. A little different gameplay than I'm used to. It's more of the decoration part of the town. Nice framework there. Nice uh, detail or graphic for uh, showing the halfway point. We built 45 of the 110 clicks of building there. Nice big wheel. Okay, so we know we want to get some more housing in over here. Though it's going to be a while before it's actually used. In fact, we're going to start to see folks dying off in these houses. So they're just older generation now. No more kids being made. And that means we're going to need a cemetery soon, aren't we? Hmm. Where do we want the cemetery? I'm thinking a crossroad right in here and a cemetery right there. In fact, maybe the church can be in this area as well. Let's do that. Let's put a chapel in. Town services, worship, and hit the pause here. Parish house like that. Um, right down here. Do that. Then let's work on a cemetery. Probably in this area. So that is here as well. We'll go with fence, a uh, regular fenced cemetery at this point. I don't know what it takes to get into some of the, the decorations. I may be requiring products we haven't created yet. <laughs> so we'll stick with what we know right now. Leave a space in between. Leave two spaces in between. And actually, take it off the road a little bit. So right there. Um, along this way or along this way? 20 by 10? That should handle the town for quite some time. We'll do that. And that's go it's going to require stone. I guess the stone walls. And we do have plenty of stone. Okay, so let's get over to our trader. What have we got today? Wheat and bread. Yeah, we'll do that. 333 and 166. Okay, so that's going to come out of our blueberry count we'll do 200 there mushrooms 200 and roots 199 okay so we're happy we're happy trade dismiss now we're probably getting to the point where it's time to start thinking about farming and and whatnot we're going to lay out some fields just to harvest the resources out of them, get them ready for when that happens. But maybe we should get the farming trader up 
to actually cause it to happen. But first of all, water wheel. What do we want to make with our water wheel? <clears throat> lumber from logs, lumber from hardwood, or firewood from logs. So there's our choices. So we're going to be using the first choice for now. And it says we already have two people hired because it's part of the wood cutting and chopper system. So we're going to go ahead and bring in a third person. And that, uh, I forgot, I, I thought that there were more that could work in this place than just one. Maybe that is the. Here. Maybe this one allows more than one person. I thought there were two in here. Anyway, he's already claiming to hit a limit because we set a fuel limit of a thousand, uh, but a. We're back to that material limit. Glass, rope, brick, joists, and so on. And we realized that, that iron ore was part of that too. So iron ore, no, don't have a lot. So I wonder what else is in there. Do that again. We don't have any glass, rope, bricks, joists, and so on. So yet we've hit our limit. So we'll kick that limit up, which is going to require more storage. Reserve of stone is low. Yeah. And reserve of logs is low. Yep. And that way we can get the lumber coming. Cemetery is being built. That's where our stone's going. Parish house is being built. It needs lumber. Ah, so our timing is, is just right. Got to get the lumber going in. But we're going to be seeing uh, the, old, the, the first generation dying off here real soon. So let's go ahead and get the cemetery going. At the parish there, to me it makes sense that the school is nearby, maybe right across. So let's do that. School is here in town services. Education is here? Yeah. So we've got a schoolhouse and then a one-room schoolhouse that does 25 students. So this one should do 20. So that's going to go in there. And yeah, we'll do that. And let's see, bring that up so we can watch it. And we're going to finish the road right there. Okay. So, water, wheel, no other choices to make. We can turn this off. We're working on these guys right now. Waiting for lumber. We have five laborers right now, so we'll kick in one more builder. <laughs> and wondering if we should kick in another forester. Eventually we're going to want these filled up anyway. Let's put in two more foresters and we'll draw them back out of there if we need to. So Forester right there. Otherwise we were looking at getting some more housing going. And let's go with a... Hmm. I've already made 16 lumber. It's going to be brought to here, but we could actually start building our first house that isn't your typical house. Let's think about that. This one, a town abode, a home that will allow new families up to four people. However, an existing family of any size can move in. So a country home, more comfortable, housing up to six people. We probably want to start building with these larger homes. More comfortable than a wood house, cheaper than a stone house. Allows five people. So salt box and country house is probably where we want to be concentrating now. Except for once in a while throwing some of the other ones in for variety. Um, we're not going to be putting any sh any shore houses. Shore house, is that what they're called? Uh, shore house, yeah. Right in this area because of the fishing. I believe. Let me think about that. Why won't he? Oh. 
There we go. This does tuck up the shoreline quite well. You know, let's go ahead and do that. That one there, and that one there. Like that. Okay. So we'll road between them. Like so. Where is he? Right there. Okay. Like that can go right onto here. This can go through. Hmm. Now we go to there. Let's take this one. Actually, I don't know if there isn't going to be a mine or something over here. I'll tell you what, let's go to there. And then we will diagonal over to here. Okay, that's the way that'll look. So the roads are in. These guys are in. We can pause these for the moment. And let's put three or four houses in this area. Any other priorities here? Housing for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven jobs. We need probably at least three houses right here. So let's go in with a salt box. Let's see. Let's go in with a country house. Do we have one that looks good on a corner? No, we just change colors. Okay. So a corner won't matter there. So he's going to go there. And a salt box. And this road is there, so he'll be right in between them. And then we're going to... I see it already switched to the, the red one. Okay. Um, he's going to go like that. All right. So these are the priorities right now. Cemetery is in. Great. And that pause there is not on the house. It's on the shore house. So these guys we're working on. We need a teacher. Let's go ahead and get that going. We need a pastor. We'll get that going. Instantly 42 members going to church now. All new 10-year-olds. In fact, these eight are all, all going to qualify now to go to school because they're all below school age. That means no more laborers and builders for at least 10, well, at least six more years, depending on how close these are to 10 years old already. So these are done. I was trying to get to this guy. Salt box. Cemetery. Let's go look at that one right there. Okay. That works just fine. Interesting how there's an opening right here and is not centered. Like it just randomly chose some spots. Oh, this is the main entrance though. Hmm. Okay. So the ones without walls allow you to build them wherever you want to. Okay, so that's done. Um let's grab the shore houses as a reminder that they're here and waiting. But I think I want to spend our resources on these guys first. Now we did build, no we didn't, what was it? It was the, it was this one that required lumber. Okay. First person in our cemetery, Eviter, the forester has died of old age. And we're going to start losing, yeah, hmm. This was a bad time for the school to open up because this whole generation is going to be dying off, taking all of our laborers away. Um, you know, I'm going to close the schoolhouse for now. Just going to do it. Wait for this first wave. Wait for these houses to, to get replaced. Oh, a new family moved into that one already. Good. So once Dustin goes, a new family will move into that space. Yeah, I think that would be wise right now. We've got about eight. I think there's eight that are going to go. One already went. A tree fell on her. So there's at least six more that are going to go from old age. These are all newer families in this area. Well, new meaning 53. But 
44, 56, 59. You still got 20, 30 years in the end game to, to be available. 60s. Late 60s, yeah. Okay. So, we were down here. While we still have laborers, we can get that cleared out. We need stone and we need logs. You have a question mark because... Pause. What are you... What's your issue? You're a teacher and you don't have a job. Okay. You're no longer a teacher. That way you can function as anything else that's needed. Which right now... Well, besides hauling materials, how are we doing here? Uh, you know, we could use a log stockpile over here. And storage as well. Um, what about here? History. So we've made 70-some planks so far. So that's good. So storage over here will also be available to relieve this, should that become an issue. So storage, a log... Um, stockpile. Let's get that one first. So this is only for logs. It says wood, not logs or lumber or anything specific. So I wonder if the game counts more than logs. That's what will go on here. It shows a picture of a log, but then it calls it wood instead of logs. Yet here it's logs. So you have the confusion. This is wood, but it shows the same picture as the log. So just like healing is no longer herbs, it's it's a whole category of several things. I wonder if there's more that will qualify for the stockpile now than previously thought. That's interesting. It's not complete. Oh, that's a graphic that goes with it. It designates. No, maybe they cut a tree down and just left the pile there. I'm not sure. We'll see if that changes later. So we've lost our, our third now, a second one in the graveyard. And looking for Dustin when he goes. A fuel refiner. Ah, so he works down here. So Dustin is running this one. How's he been doing? Good quantities for what we need. So even with that, we've got uh, uh, plenty in storage, which is interesting. This doesn't work. Normally you click this and your town hall graphic comes up. We have to actually go over here and click this to do it. It doesn't trigger. So fuel, we're at 300. So we're making plenty of furnace fuel. But probably could come up with a, a second... Uh, Iron. Oh, we got plenty of iron coming in, too. Alright, duck meat and potted meat. So here's meat that has been processed. But we'll go ahead and buy all the... Well, we don't really need the duck meat. We don't really need the potted meat. Hmm. He is Grice, the goods importer. Well, just to make Grice happy and make him come back again, we will... Uh, buy his duck meat, and we'll give him, we'll give him roots in trade. Trade and dismiss. Okay. See you later, Grace. So, what were we doing? We're building these, we're thinking about those, and we were going to lay out some crops and pastures. That's what we're doing. Um, let's put the crop fields on the north side of this road. North? North. Okay. So, food, and we've got, oh, transparent fields, I see. So, we'll go with crop fields. <clears throat> Tell you what, let's do a crop field, and then we'll do a transparent field, and see what the difference is. So, let's put in a... Having a lot of success with 7x20s. That's bigger than normal, but I'm able to tell the laborers to bring everything in instead. And that has worked pretty well. So this turned everything a, a brown. 
you see that I like tilled field let's put the next one in the transparent field right there transparent ground just got a house in and we'll leave a space between 7 by 20 then we'll put in another regular one and again we're not really gonna be able to plant these yet but we'll get the, the area cleared and we'll alternate these and make it look good we'll be able to figure out what we're what we've got so one more transparent one how far do we go now we'll stop there for now now there's going to be a time when we're going to suddenly get animals and we're not prepared for it so let's go ahead and get a, uh, a pasture ready to go so we will go with the normal fenced ones here standard pasture and let's leave a space just in case something comes up we're not thinking of put the barn right there at the top um let's make them pretty decent sized so 30s are limit this way 30 by 15 we'll go for that another house just finished and we'll put a second one in though we may not have the the logs to build these Do a third one 30 15 and then we'll set over here road space field or a smaller one for chickens so do a 20 yep something like that that looks good there's chickens We'll let them clear these, then we'll probably cancel them. This guy is in and waiting for orders, but we've got no seeds to choose. So that's just going to sit there fallow until we get a chance to do something with it. The houses are in. Let's see what they look like. We did get couples to move into them, so we had enough floating around. Good. So the salt boxes came in. I wonder why that is. We built this first. Oh, I didn't notice that. The country home requires... Building supplies and homewares. Ah. Okay. Building supplies and homewares. Okay. Well, we've got our, our challenge for next episode. Let's figure out what the heck that means. So, this has been Noble Rambler, and, and I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.